Hello. Today I'd like to show you our um, Henry Eckert rebate block plane. Um, how it's put together, how it's made, what it's made of, and um, its uh, many and varied uses in the workshop. Um, this plane is cast from um, ductile iron. It's machined and then ground square and flat so these walls are 90 degrees to the sole. The, um, the wooden knob is a figured red gum. It has a Howard adjuster which is, um, makes the adjusting of the blade uh, silky smooth. The blade is PM10V 10 10V, which is um, excellent tool steel uh, and the, the cap iron is a, a bronze, also um, a cast and machined in Adelaide and South Australia. Um, this plane of course is low angle, that bed angle there compared to the sole is 12 degrees. The um, blade has a 25 degree primary bevel, which makes the cutting angle or the attack angle of this tool 37 degrees, which is low angle. So um, it will do all the things that any low angle block plane will do, and that is it'll, it'll um, trim pieces of wood, it'll flatten a short piece of timber, it will take off an arras, it will also plane um, end grain uh, easily um, because it's low angle. So if we start off as a low angle block plane, what else can this plane do? Obviously the blade comes to the edge of the tool, in fact it goes past the edge by a very small amount. and. Um, it makes it have the ability then to plane uh, examples like um, the planning examples are the cheeks of tenons. This can really easily um, plane a tenon cheek and keep that cheek 90 degrees to the shoulder of the tenon because of course this is 90 degrees and the blade goes right to the edge and can get right into the, into the corner of the shoulder and the tenon cheek. Um, but of course this is a rebate plane, that's what, that's what it's termed, um, and for cutting rebates. Now the best way to cut rebates of course is to use a fence to get the rebate length um, how you want it um, and consistent along the piece of timber. It could be shorter, it could be long, there's no difference. Um, we fit these uh, five millimeter stainless steel rods which mount the which mount the um, the fence this fence is made from uh, manganese bronze cast manganese bronze um, and it um, is machined this face and this face here making that 90 degrees so when it when this face is hard against the sole of the plane um, you know that that fence is 90 degrees to the sole of the plane. So we fit that um, to the plane and, and the length that this or the width that this fence comes in determines the width of your rebate. So let's just leave it there for today's purpose and you lock it in position with grub screws. These grub screws are use a hex um, tool to tighten which comes with the with the tool with the plane and there you go cutting rebates um, this um, plane also has the ability to cut um, uh, a vertical a score as you go along so that face that you're cutting this way remains nice and square uh, and clean because it's got at the front here a little uh, a scoring blade 
um, which is round and sharp. It's the same material as the cutting blade uh, and it's got a flat spot there so it's not engaging when you don't want it to. But you just loosen that little, uh, that little uh, screw and then move the cutting uh, blade around so it engages and scores the timber. So moving forward, um, we've done rebates. Um, this uh, fence has got two holes which you'll see there, one in there, one there, which enables it to have, um, to fit another fence to that, to this fence, which has an angle on it. Um, here it is here, um, and this screws onto this fence, thus so, which then gives us a 45 degree angle here. This, this fence has already had the, the um, uh, 45 degree angle fitted to it, so if we put that on this tool, which is quite easily done, um, you can um, then have a 45 degree fence underneath. So if you put that 45 degree fence, just straighten it up, um, on the workpiece, it then enables you to do chamfer edge exactly 45 degrees to this face or 45 degrees this face because this tool is cocking that blade, that plane over at exactly 45 degrees. It makes a really even chamfer all the way along um, and very fine shavings and is very, very accurate. So you know you're cutting exactly 45 degrees to this face. Um, and if your timber is, um, your workpiece is square to each other, then it's 45 degrees that face as well. Um, so that's very handy. It makes it a chamfer plane as well as a rebate plane. Um, we also um, have a fence that we just screws on as an, as an extra, um, which is 20 degrees. Now this one is, this fence is used to cock the plane at 20 degrees so you can make raised panels easily uh, on a cupboard door or wherever. Um, and of course, with this fence, um, fitting it on the right hand side, you can, if, if the timber grain is running this way, you can plane up this way, and then you can put the fence on the other side to plane the other side, and you're still planing with the grain. So which is, that's a big feature because some of these planes only have a fence that fits one side. But I think with this tool, having the fence fitting either side, you um, avoid the problem of having to have two planes to do one job. So it's quite a versatile tool. Um, it's a block plane. It does tenon cheeks. Um, it uh, makes accurate rebates, whether they be the, hop, the width, the small width or the width of the whole body of the plane. It's got this extra 45 degree fence, which comes with the fence system uh, to enable you to be do accurate chamfers. Um, you don't need a chamfer plane, all you need is that little fence, does the job, as well as adding different fences to that uh, primary fence to, do, to cock the plane at different angles, as example, uh, raising panels. So that's our little uh, rebate block plane. Um, I hope you get a chance to use it one day or see it one day. Um, and uh, Thanks for coming by today.